Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to very dubiously extrapolate out to the fourth peak using three data points. If you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Now, first of all, this is just an exercise. Identifying exactly when the next peak will be is very hard to do. We simply do not have a ton of data yet, and if we did have, say, 20 different peaks we could look at, then we would have a much better idea as to how things operated. So far, we go with what we have. Again, this is meant to just be an exercise. It is not meant to identically know when the next peak will be. So again, a fairly dubious extrapolation, and we'll even show later how easily things could change if just prior peaks had been shifted a very tiny amount uh, by, say, six months or so. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and jump in. So here we're showing the number of days since inception from the price of Bitcoin came onto the market versus peak. So peak one, two, and three. Here, we're going to take inverse days and plot it like this so we can get this nice fit exponent or power law fit power equation, a uh, f of x equals ax to the b. These are our coefficients, 0 0.00337, negative 2.014. Fairly nice fit, but of course it's only three data points. It's not that hard to get a nice fit. Let's extend it to the fourth peak. Of course, it goes without saying, this is a very, fairly dubious extrapolation considering we only have three data points. But if we did, for those who are curious like me, it would correspond to 4,829 days from the beginning. Well, we know that the first three peaks were at June 8th, 2011, November 30th, 2013, December 17th, 2017. Where would it put the fourth one if this trend were to continue? It would put it November 5th, 2023 okay now that seems like it's really far off well how can that be it looks like we're heading up sooner of course it's possible we do right if this is where the next peak is maybe we get there like that maybe we do that maybe we go up to 100k in the short term come back down do a, a a check at the regression band at around 30k and continue on up maybe this is completely wrong and we go to uh, you know three hundred thousand dollars in 12 months uh, like those who, you know, who don't believe in diminishing returns or lengthening cycles. Um, and if we go to $300,000 within, uh, within 12 months, then of course, diminishing returns was not true from this market cycle to the next. If we peak between say 100 to $200,000, and of course, diminishing returns is true. Um, so those are the, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios that could play out, right? But let's look at some comparisons. We've looked at this before we've seen how similar this cycle is to this one, but this one is much more extended than the first one, right? Into the regression band, back out, into the regression band, back out, into the regression band, back out. First peak, second peak, right? Into the regression band and out, back in to the band and back out. If we go back into it, it doesn't mean we necessarily have to have a crash. You can see here, we had a, sh a small correction and then we trended sideways. So if we were to do that, then maybe that would be the tail as we go into 2021 that we, we sort of regroup and, and then continue our run later on in 2021. So imagine that playing out, something like that. I think these are still plausible scenarios. Of course, if you're watching the price of Bitcoin go right now, it might think you might think that it's just going to go up like this forever. And I do see a lot of comments on my YouTube channel and Twitter saying that saying like delusional things like Bitcoin will never correct again. Institutional money is just going to keep pouring in forever. Um, this is simply not true that it won't correct. It will correct at some point. But again, we've seen we've seen pretty impressive runs by Bitcoin in the past. Um, and, and ultimately, we did have corrections. So we'll see what happens, right? We'll see We'll see if we can continue to, to press this out. Now, you might be wondering, well, well, Ben, if the peak is all the way in 2023, then that's pretty close to the halving, okay? Well, again, maybe the next halving will help curb the effects of the next bear market rather than catalyze the next bull. Those are my thoughts. Again, if if we go to 100K or 300K, let's say let's say um, the other you know some of the other theories pan out and that we go to 300K in 12 months, right? Then so be it. We'll we'll you know we'll watch the price of Bitcoin soar much earlier than than um, than I initially expected. But if it doesn't, right, and it does something like this, then it's also more or less just more of the same type of trend. So. Some of you may be wondering, well, what if we extend this out further to say the fifth peak and the sixth peak? Before I do that, I will remind you, we have the premium list. Make sure you check it out. You can find a link to it in the description below. The prices will be going back up on January 3rd. That's when the sell ends. 
So we have their weekly reports, the weekly videos, the alerts channel on Telegram, the trading view indicators, the risk dashboard, a whole lot of stuff. Make sure you check it out in the next four days. So what if we extended this out to the fifth peak? Well, it would put it in May of 2031 and the sixth peak would put it in July of 2040. So maybe something like that is how we get to a million dollar Bitcoin over the next 20 years, right? Diminishing returns each cycle, they get longer, maybe volatility. We know volatility is going down. Maybe that's our path, okay? Now, some of you may be wondering, well, this is very dubious, of course, because it's only three data points. And I would agree with you, right? It's only three data points. And as an exercise, I shifted for just to see where it would put it. If, if the third peak had taken place in June of 2017, rather than December of 2017, then it would predict the next peak to be in May of 2022. So a six month difference in the third peak, if that peak had come six months earlier, then the next peak would say be predicted by this equation to happen in say, the middle of 2022, rather the end of 2023. So you can see how finicky the fit is depending on exactly when the peaks occurred. It's because we only have three data points. There's not a lot of data to go on yet. We're just curious, right? I'm just curious as to how these things were to extrapolate if we were to somewhat dubiously extrapolate them and, and see where it puts us, okay? It's, it's just simple curiosity. Um, we'll obviously see if this plays out if something like that ends up playing out in the long term, right, something like that, or if in fact we just go straight up to 300K in the next 12 months, which I really doubt, uh, but if it happens, so be it. So if you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Check out the premium list as well. Sign up before January 3rd, before the prices go back up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the channel. See you next time.